when that morning coffee hits. Woo! So it's January 2nd. I'm up here at the cottage. It's so nice. I'm spending a couple nights here on my own. Still no ice on the, on the lake yet. It's a little bit late in terms of ice in, um, probably because of global warming, but oh well, it'll come in soon and we'll be out on the sleds, baby. It's a winter wonderland out here. Look at this. <laughs> It's so nice out. Snowed quite a bit last night. The old Beamer got covered in snow here. I'm actually selling this thing. Um, I already know what, what car I'm gonna buy next. It's gonna be a true adventure machine. So I'm really excited. I won't tell you what it is, but it's gonna be sick. Okay, so let's get the snowblower out. Start blowing some snow. I miss this old girl. <laughs> Jeff, if you're watching this, can't wait till the spring, buddy. Choke on, prime a couple times, key in. The hell is this? Throttle. Throttle full. is done. Snow has been blowed and now it's time to have a little fun on the sleds. So cue the skidoo b-roll right now. Let's go. Start to 2021. She's stuck. I may have just made it worse. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's. Let's go, baby. Woo! Hi there, always. Hey, my friends. <clears throat> so I just found where the water meets the ice, where the lake hasn't frozen over yet. I don't know if you can see it through the cracks there. I might just creep down this person's driveway. Um, I'm sure they won't care. We had someone creep down our driveway too, so I just want to take a look. Oh, stairs. Stairs are here. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna walk on this ice here because <gasps> look at this. Wow. That looks crazy. 
Oh, this just went down my back. Oh. I'm on the last step here. <laughs> and then there's ice. And there's a hole right there. And there's all water. That's so cool. I'm definitely not stepping down on here though. So if you ever wonder what a half frozen lake looks like, I guess that's it. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go back. These two people got their car stuck just down the road when I was out on the snowmobile and we're gonna go help them out. We gotta see what we got in the garage here. I think we have some stuff that will help them. Spike into the ground and you can drive your car over them. So I'm gonna go put these in the car and drive them over. Those are some nice, nice folks. There's the old Fiat 500. <laughs> we got her out, we got her out. We just used those, uh, those red spiky things, just jam them on, under the tires. And he just sent her and got her out. I wonder, you know, it's gonna be funny watching them try to get up this hill. It's not that steep, but it's a front wheel drive little Fiat, so. Let's see if they can get up. <laughs> go Fiat, go! Send her! <laughs> He's sending her up there. Nice! They're good. Wow, what a fun little adventure. I'm exhausted. What happens is because of the fire, it's 27 degrees. 27 degrees Celsius in here. And so when you stay in here and lie down on the couch for a little while, you just start to melt away in this heat. <sighs> so I got a couple comments on my last video that I thought I'd address here. Flourish says, keep it up brother. Love you and your passion to expose and find alternatives to a destructive industry. Respect, man. Thank you so much. I love you too. It's gonna be a grind, but I'm, I'm fired up to do it. Thanks for the support, brother. Appreciate it. Alejandra says, awesome, I love the concept. Thanks, Alejandra. This is my, this is my 11th video now on this channel. Um, I'm just having some fun here. I'm doing random shit. I'm trying to... I'm trying to go home because I didn't want to stay in the hotel, but... Hey, Jinx, Casey. I'm trying to just figure out what I like on, on YouTube. Um, just fooling around with different styles. I've recently started watching a bunch of Peter McKinnon. That's why you're seeing a lot of B-roll today. But it's all just learning new things and learning how to make videos and tell a story through video. It's probably so loud. So I'm really excited to see how this one turns out in particular because it's my first time fooling around with B-roll. Um, I'm just learning how to use this camera in the first place. This is my first camera, so by no means a professional, but I really enjoy using this camera so far. It's so crazy. What a spectacular piece of technology. Let me know what you think. Do you like these, do you like these vlogs, this style of vlog? I don't know, what do you wanna see? Let me know. I have, I have the camera, I have, the, I have the, the environment to do some crazy stuff. So let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm curious. I'm very open to doing anything. I'm just starting. These boots are still wet. I can't even go out there and do anything. Nice, now my pants are wet. Um, so yeah, let me know what you, what you wanna see. Appreciate it. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm working on a full sleeve. Um, this is it so far. I'm missing, you can see it's just a stencil right now here on the inside. He's gotta fill this in and then there's some stuff. There's some space here that he's gotta fill and you can see this shape's almost done. Or he's, he finished this shape halfway here. But uh, yeah, there's still some more to go. 
Oh, I'm a full, fully tatted man. Full palace, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't know how long. This, this vlog might be getting way too long, so I might cut it off here. I don't know if there's, if there's some time later. I'm gonna throw some dinner B-roll just because I'm, I'm really enjoying filming B-roll and thinking about these events and, and, and taping them at different angles and going step by step through a process and filming every angle of it. It's cool, it's cool. So, you might see some dinner B-roll, you might not. This guy totally went up to my polar plunge. He came up through the ice, broke it with his head. That's sick, I'll do that next year. I'll do it next year. So I keep seeing these videos of, of guys that spin a beer bottle as they chug it, they like, whoosh, get it spinning, vortexing, and then it flows down and they chug it. Let me find a video to show you. All right, I found it. Watch. <laughs> Should I try it? What do you think? That's rotini with calamari and zucchini. Oh my, my God. That was kind of an improv meal here because check out how much food we have in the fridge. Nothing. Zilch. We do have one of these. So we can try out that vortex thing. All right, let's give it a go. Product of Mexico, baby. That's where I'm from. So your boy's from, actually my mom. My mom's from there. Born and raised. Me, I was born in Ottawa. So I'm a Canadian boy. All right. Let's, uh, let's give this a go. I don't think it's gonna go well. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spew. I'm spewing all over the camera. Yeah, that didn't that didn't work too well. <clears throat> See, I'm 23 now. My drinking days are long gone. I I'm not I'm not 22 years old anymore. I'm 23. <laughs> My drinking days are over. No. Oh. Oh, all right. 2021, baby. Let's go. Now don't say anything. I don't have any lime, okay? You saw how empty my fridge was. There's no lime. All right, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe for more, I guess. Is that is that what YouTubers say these days? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Hey!